Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today not only to celebrate because it's always a treat when true players meet. Not only to celebrate, but to honor our little bro, Keandre Taylor. Tonight we are filming to honor and bring awareness to the ill disregard to our brother, our cousin, our little homie, our friend that he received that resulted in his death. Taylor May, baby, Lil' Key Dre. I'm talking about tonight, we got players in the town, man. You know what I'm saying? Lil' Dez, Bugatti, D-Mon, man, man. You know what I'm saying? On September 30th, we lost Lil' Key Drake. Key Andre Taylor worked at the TA Travel Center in Baldwin. The medical examiner ruled Taylor died by suicide, but his parents say the details of their son's death are just not adding up. Tawana Taylor says her son, Keandre, was a jokester. He usually would come in the house and be like, hey, old lady, what you cooking? Now, those jokes are all she has to remember him. Never in a million years would I have imagined that this time, when my son walked out that door, that he would be coming back in a box. On Saturday, September 30th, Keandre Taylor was found dead at this TA Travel Center in Baldwin, where he worked as a mechanic. On Sunday, Tawana Taylor got a phone call from the 31-year-old's ex-girlfriend. Telling me that she got a call from someone who says that they was Keandre's friend and that he was dead. First Coast News, which we thank you because y'all been the only ones that even said anything down there in Florida about it at all. Fox 10 News, where you at? Gulf Coast Media, what you doing? News break, what you doing? This is a call to action. This happened in Florida, and people, we need to wake up, stand up, and we need to cry loud. There are too many unalivings, lynchings, that are happening. People being found hung, and down in Jacksonville, actually in Baldwin, Florida, they're trying to rule everything that happens to this right here People like this right here, trying to rule it a unaliving of themselves. Some of the last words that his family heard from him when he when he wrote them was, I don't want to be unalived out here, man. And this young man was found hung in a storage shed at his job at the Travel Centers of America in Baldwin, Florida, in his uniform. And the only way that his family found out was it was somebody that he was cool with that called the family, called the mother. Somebody did it to him or somebody, a lot of, uh, it was extra people. This was done to him. He didn't do it to himself. He had bruises. He had knots on his head. He had a swollen eye. And when you try to search this story, people, TikTok, when you try to search this story, there are no news stories, no articles or anything. It's the family crying aloud. So we need to get this out there. We need to share this, share it far and wide. We need to bring attention to this. Justice for Keandre Taylor. Yeah, shout out to Miss Tawana, man. Andre, uh, Mr. Andre, man, you know, we gonna always love y'all, man. You know, we gonna yeah. Shout out to his kids, bro. <coughs> shout out to his kids, man. Taiwan, Matt. Tyree. 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 
Taiwan. Big Tank. Tyree. Big Tank. Tyree. My first born. My <laughs> <laughs> he used to come over there and try to jump on me all the time. He's very tall. I had to let him know what I was doing. Drizzle Junior. Drizzle Junior. Yeah, bro. No. That's Keandre Jr. for sure. KJ. Private investigators and, and, and anybody down there that's in Florida, man. If you was at the TA Center that day, man, you know what I'm saying? If you used, if you worked there with him, man, you need to be trying to get in contact with somebody. Send us, send somebody a message. We'll get in contact with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we need some answers. Answers. Exactly. We need some every, answers. Every TA got a lot of cameras. So they yeah. Work. yeah. I, like that I done pulled up at the TA yeah. right here closest to Memphis a couple of times and I've been every on the TA. truck, man. Why not, why not there in Jackson, Tennessee? Out. It was dead out. Somebody out there saying something. It's always cameras at these gas stations, man. Yeah. It don't matter which gas station. You can go to one of the cheapest, the the one of the poorest gas stations around the block right now. Right. So if somebody stole out that gas station, they had have your face right there on the front door. They ain't got a camera at that particular door. Uh, they had yeah. your face right there on the front door. You know what time he went back in that direction? Come on, man. You can see what who else went back there. Come on, right, 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 right. 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 Hey, hey, camera angle that was available. Somebody seen something. Yeah. And if a motherfucker know exactly how the cameras are sitting, the motherfucker probably worked up. You feel me? Yeah. Straight up. Gotcha. Well, hey, you know what uh, let me basically you know, saying, uh, let me get let me get rid of this. Who gave them? Okay, no, well, I don't need nobody right to see this. Mm-hmm. Let me get rid of. Who gave them? Okay, and this, okay. And this. Hey, my boy, right now. Come on, man, stop playing, man. Yeah, and that's a, okay. and like and like what Big Bro said earlier, you gotta ask yourself on, questions, man. man. Um, and that's the whole reason why they don't want us to see it, man. Because my somebody who worked there know what went on. The crazy shit is nobody down there is. Being concerned, mm. they ain't trying to look into the shit like, like they ain't even heard of the shit. You know what I mean? Well, like that too. Yeah, that yeah. too, man. Hey, we don't say nothing. Who gonna say something? Cause they ain't said nothing. Man, for real. And we need everybody that's online, man. You know what I'm saying? We need yeah. to share content. We need to keep pushing this shit online. We got to make enough noise for the fact. Shit, I remember the first day he moved to the neighborhood. <laughs> I knew I was knocking on the door. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see your son come out here and play football with us. You know what I'm saying? I knew, man. I ain't riding around with no baby <laughs> shit. Real <laughs> like man, man, bro could've been on all eight years old. Just yeah. yeah. smiling over there, yeah. cheese. <laughs> Can't just tell time yeah. that. Feel like cheese. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, they need to get on that shit though, man. <laughs> Where he at? What's his name? He might be What's scared. his phone? I don't care. Oh, that's right. I don't he care. Might be scared. Man, cool. that's man, that's that's, that's, that's what I remain. Hey, some, some people get scared. Some people get scared in life, man. But man, you gotta understand, though, man. If that's the type of stuff you gonna do, man. If you're going to make that call and say, uh, uh, Keandre gone. I ain't got nothing to do with us, but. Like, hold on. My fault, too. Like, man, you got you to gotta understand, though, man. If you were going to be that person that make that phone call to man and say, Keandre gone, man, it's too late to be scared, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
and they told him that he couldn't do it, they directed one of the white techs to him and they wouldn't even let him come into the building. You know, yeah. I just don't understand. <clears throat> the reason that he came down here to Florida on August the 5th is because of the, the site that he was working at wasn't really busy. He was a fairly new diesel mechanic and he wanted to get experience. And they told him that this is one of the busiest sites that they had. And of course, he loves the beaches. He loves the water. So, hey, he was all for that. His dad heard him say earlier that week, someone that he was, as they was hanging up the phone, you know how sometimes you don't completely hang up the phone all the way? As he was hanging up the phone, he told somebody to get their racist ass away from them. Based on what we're seeing, we know what happened. You see what I'm saying? And for y'all not to even report on not to talk about it, like yeah. we already know what's going on, but we've seen this before with, right up. with Mac Boot, or Alvin Marley, part of when he came down here to visit for a week. He ended up getting shot by a uh, security agent. Big Crump had to represent him, you know what I mean? So this ain't the first time we done dealt with something like this or we done seen something like this. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. a different disguise. 300 years what we call yeah. the good old boy system down yeah. here in the South. Man, we're going to call it what it is because we know what it is. Yeah. Right. We're trying to tiptoe around around the situation. You see what I'm saying? We already talking about racism because everybody he know we're going to call. He's going to send texts say, how you deal with this? And I done told him he probably was in the sun downtown. Told me you need to get about that motherfucker. So that, that can answer a lot of your questions when you say that. So that, that being said, you need a third party to go out there and try to see what's going on. Somebody who ain't scared. I'm yeah. gonna live, King Dre, man. Yeah. We're gonna raise up his kids, man. They're gonna be straight, man. Shit, man, this shit don't stop. Shit, this shit just bring her close, man. We be hard on these boys, man. Yeah, yeah. Stand on these niggas, man. Stand on these niggas, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, no, that's my heart of it, bro. He wouldn't have done that. He cared too much about his kids. He wouldn't have left them out like that, you know. And the bond we had, the bond he and I had, I just can't see him not telling me no, something. No signs. Not telling me something about a way that he might have been feeling or anything like that and to kill himself? No. Well, he's supposed to be coming home the next week? There's no way in hell. There's no way. Um... Man. And he was the youngest when we went. The youngest of the count, man. Come on, man. Man, man. so many memories, man. I don't live keys right, man. The youngest of the count, man. Pull cool up in the hood in the party. Man, for the yeah. light of the house. Big blue party for a pick. A pink job. Man, we need to go get the house. Yeah. Nigga, bro, pick all of us up. Call your phone. Hey, Rob, what's up, Rob? This keys right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know who you is, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like a big man. Man, uh, Keith, right, turn Panama up. Come on, now. Nah, I'm he talking did. about, man, we, we had, had a call out there this we had morning, to look, right? We had to look for him a couple of times. We had to look for him a couple of times. <laughs> man, where Keith, right, go? Kid pop back man, up, man. Kid pop man. back up, showing us pictures of his phone, man. Man. He done man. took a picture with 20 chicks down there. 20 white so, so, man. Come on, man. 20. 20 of them. I'm like, man, you something else, man. I still got the like pictures this. in my phone. Oh, yeah, straight up, man. We got the proof, <laughs> man. Like, man, Lord got the proof. I don't get a, I don't get an indication that anything was kind of concluded or they came up with anything from this report. Um, so I think that'll be a question for police that I have. Man, you telling me this shit ain't caught the police, man, or they just don't give a fuck? They don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's hey, just, it just another say, black man hey, that, that, that ain't for hey, around here. Say, they, hey, right. let's go get them up out of here. Hey, we ain't got to worry about him no more. This is right. what they on. You know what I'm saying? This is what they on. got no family. This is really what they show on. That's what they on. Hey, let's get them up out of here, man. We can't you know see Sacred Let them four just, man. Let this shit go silent, man. This shit don't go silent, dog. Ah, this shit ain't going silent. This is what's going to work no, the most. No, if this shit go silent, bro. Something happened. Something definitely happened. And we just want to know what happened. And we want answers. We want to know what happened. Anybody that can help us. We want justice. We want, you know, we just want help. Because we know and his kids deserve to know. We uh, I deserve mean, to know. We deserve. His kids to know. And his kids. And he didn't deserve, you know, what happened to him. He didn't. So he wasn't a just bad want person. For us. He's not out here trying to rob, steal, and kill nobody. You know, he honestly worked for his living, seriously. Since all of this has happened, we saw a message that he sent to my brother. 
who doesn't have access to his to anything 24 hours a day. He can only get them every now and then via the computer. That message was sent on September the 28th, about nine something that night. And it said, hey, Unc Mang, can you pull some strings for me? Because I don't want to die in Baldwin, Florida. He said, these people are racist and sexist, and I just want to get my money out of them. And that's because he works for them. He just here to make some money, you, you know. dangerous, the way they were talking, so. You know, it's, it's a lot. I have reason to believe that my son was lynched. And that was two days before. Yeah. And see the bruises on the person. How the forensic can't see it. Right. How they rule that something else? I seen it myself. I seen bruises on the forehead. His eye lip, I was lumped. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Sleepy. Hey, you know, on the forehead. Four out of five times, if men kill themselves, they shoot themselves through the mouth in the head. That's statistical facts. You know what I'm saying? Men get that shit over with and do it. And motherfuckers, for one, ain't 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 a month too many same black men on earth gonna hang themselves. Not you know what I'm saying? Not, not about, right. You know what I'm saying? But anybody that you know what I'm saying who lost someone suicide, someone who had dealt with that bullshit, this ain't much life in a way to make y'all feel any type of way. Help is available. Suicide prevention hotline. You can speak with somebody today. Nine eight eight on the phone. Suicide crisis lifeline available twenty four hours a day. And you understand Spanish? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. The job I spoke with the manager, and this person told me that the police told them not to call me. I'm Keandre's next of kin. I'm his emergency contact, but they was told not to call me. Trying to do it the little job type way and you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, make make move. Move. Right. So you know who the fuck he was in you know, tune with. But when the news folks said they called, they saw that they called and get a response. So you know what I'm saying? Exactly. We need the people in Jacksonville, in Baldwin, man, if you seen something, you need to say something, man. Right? You can inbox me at motherfucker, man, hard pin and TV. Yeah, yeah. Damn it, if you heard or know any motherfucking thing, we'll make sure that mama and daddy are gonna find out. Mm -hmm. you check this out. If it was an altercation, man, to Keandre, man, justice for Keandre, justice for the you know Taylor saying? family, man, uh, justice yeah. for his mom and dad, justice for his grandma, well, for his little sister. For his goddamn neighborhood family right here, man. Like, we ain't gonna never forget that, man. No. We ain't gonna never nah, forget that nah. at all, no. Nah. Nah. Shit, man, we want answers. What happened to our little brother, man? What happened to KLT, Keandre Ladarius Taylor? Something, we something gonna keep our foot on y'all about it.